this program is designed to help up level your media buying skills, right? This program is being taught by one of my media buyers who I personally trained and currently he's managing you know, millions of dollars uh, of profitable advertising spent for different e-commerce stores, for uh, different niches. And basically he's tremendously skillful in what he does to the extent where he's able to train other people. If we talk about the retargeting, it's very important to understand what that actually is for the in e-commerce or in basically digital marketing. When you target the people with paid ads or organic traffic or whatever, there are three different types of traffic. There is a cold traffic, the people who have never seen your ads before, who do not know who you are, who your business is, whom you sell or whatever. You have to tell these people who you are. You have to show the specific ad and specific creatives to these people. And you have to make them familiarize with your business. And you have to drag them into your funnel. These people have never been on your website before. There is a warm traffic. People who have some times ago engaged with your funnel, but who do not uh, know you very well yet or who have not engaged with your business for a very long time. So people who might know you, but not, not necessarily do. And hot traffic, this is a very important traffic that is easy to convert. And your task is to definitely squeeze the most purchases out of this segment of your traffic is the people who know you, who remember you, who have very recently been on your website, on your card page, on your checkout page, who have very recently send you emails, messages, or whatever. All of these people in the hot traffic segment are the people whom you really, really want to convert. So if you talk about the sales funnel, the easiest way to structure it and to explain how it's working is by using this very simple picture. This is our ultimate retargeting cheat sheet. It's available right under this video. You will see it. And this shows you very well how the Facebook traffic and the any online traffic, any funnel traffic is segmented. So you have a call traffic at the very top. This is the largest segment. This is all of the people whom you can find online, the people who don't even know that your business exists. You drag them into your fu funnel and you move them along this funnel until they reach this very bottom and become your buyers, right? So the second level is the people who have interacted once with you. We call them win back, but they have not interacted with you for a very long time. We usually segment it out by all of the people who engaged with your website, with your Facebook business page, with any segment of your business, not earlier than, not later than 180 days before. So basically half a year before. So all of the people uh, who have seen your ads, who have been on your website or done anything with you more than 180 days before, this is your level to traffic. This is sometimes very good to create a separate campaign for this segment of traffic because this, uh, because if you have improved your product, if you have changed your product, if you have done something to improve your funnel, you still can drag these people into your funnel because they have already engaged with you and they might be interested in your, uh, in whatever you sell. Uh, the level three is social engagement traffic. It's all of the people who interacted with your Facebook uh, ads page, with your Instagram account, with your Facebook account, or with your paid or organic ads. So every one of them is the level three traffic. People who have seen your videos, but everyone who have engaged with your social platforms, but have not been on your website because all of the people who have been on your website, on your landing page, on your main page, on your card page, on your product page, on your checkout page, on your thank you page. Well, thank you page is the level five traffic because it's your uh, buyers, but all these five segments are your level for traffic. This, like, as you move down, you can see that the people are becoming hotter and hotter because if someone has been on your checkout page, they're definitely interested in your product, right? They have not done this just randomly. 
uh, they were probably interested in your ad, then they were probably interested in your product. So probably if you improve your offer or if you show your ad to them second time, they will convert. And the current buyers is the fifth level. And I will tell you a little bit uh, how to go about this uh, segment of traffic a little bit later, because there are specific conditions how, how you can target your buyers, because you remember for cold traffic, we always exclude the buyers. The same would do for these three levels. But for level five, we just target our buyers specifically, but in a slightly different way. So let's go back and start with the level three funnel. We will skip level two a little bit. For now, we will talk about it a little bit later because Winback is a very specific audience and it works in very specific cases. And level three and level four are the kinds of funnel that are very easy to create after you run paid ads for a couple of weeks and then you can easily start retargeting them. So how do you create the retargeting campaigns? First of all, you check your, the ultimate retargeting cheat sheet. Here we have a list of audiences that you are to create to have very profitable uh, retargeting campaigns. So level three social engagement are all of the people who either watched your videos or interacted with your Facebook page or posts. You, you can differentiate them because your posts are basically your paid ads and your Facebook page are your Facebook business page. The same goes for your Instagram account. And the people who liked your page or the friends of people who liked your page, this is another segment. So if you structure your level three retargeting campaign this way, you're definitely going to succeed. You, because, because all of these people are highly engaged. All of these people have been interested in your ads. And if you show them your ads again, they will be interested again. They will go to your website and they are likely to convert. If you check our retargeting campaigns, again, let's go to our good old account where we sell leggings, right? If you check the retargeting campaign, this is our buyers level five, right? And these are the retargeting campaigns. And you can see that the return on ad spend on our retargeting campaigns is much higher than the return on ad spend in our cold traffic. Because these people, as I said, are highly engaged they, we need both cold traffic and hot traffic because there will be no hot traffic without cold traffic because these cold campaigns, they basically feed these retargeting campaigns. Because of this cold traffic, we get more people who engage with our posts, people who get to our website, people who go to our cards, people who watch our videos, everything. And then if we fail to convert them on this level, on level one of cold traffic, we still catch them up and convert them on the retargeting campaigns. So let's go to level three and see how we can create our level three retargeting audience. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you can just like this video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. Thank you.